Hey guys, quick update on the latest Tico firmware update. This is the 1.2.4 software with the 2.0.3 firmware and the results are actually pretty good. Uh, I was playing with uh, a slicer profile but these results are pretty good. The I didn't change anything in the advanced configuration, but uh, I did have to do a manual bed level, and I noticed, I don't know if this happened uh, during the print, but you can kind of see how the raft is lifted off, but the Tico handled that a lot better uh, than it had been previously. Uh, raft fills off pretty nicely and uh, if we kind of compare with Slicer I'm having issues uh, with the raft. I don't know if it's needed but My first attempt, I think, was was just too fast. The difference between the first and the second was that I uh, lowered the speeds. Is what I did. Let's see if that's better. And. And so here's the bottom, <clears throat> and you can see where there were some issues with bridging, but overall I think out of the three, the uh, Tico Slicer actually won this one uh, with the most recent update. I tried printing this a few days ago before this update. And there was just no luck whatsoever. Not sure how the lighting is. Um, but you can kind of see between the middle one is my second slicer attempt. And they're actually pretty similar as far as print quality minus... Um, a little bit of infill that's missing on the very top. I don't know if that shows up. But overall the Tico print came out really good. Um, so I think that this is a step in the right direction. I have a bit less stringing um, on the slicer attempt. where you can, you can see on the initial attempt I had quite a bit of stringiness through this area and the Tico's I think just needs a little bit more retraction is what I'm thinking. I did print this at 205 and I know that these started off at 210 uh, for the first initial layer and went down to 200 after uh, but these results are really promising, and I'll try to print some other stuff. I'm still going to work on the slicer uh, configuration, and we'll see see overall, uh, just in case something happens with the firmware where we're not getting good prints at all again. Uh, we'll at least have a backup, and there's still no spiral base mode on Tico that I could find in the advanced settings so we'll still have to use a third party slicer for that. 
But uh, anyways, quick update. Thanks for watching.